Charlton Sports Weekly here at Anytime Fitness. Glenn Hughes and Stan Wilds and our special guest, uh, boys basketball coach, Coach Warkin team. Uh, about time to kick the season off now, isn't it? It is. Uh, we had a scrimmage game last night. And, uh, that was kind of our first thing. Our first game is going to be this Friday night at uh, Telfair. Get that long ride out the way early, huh? Two hour plus on a yellow <laughs> bus. That's always fun. <laughs> Uh, so, who are the main players we're looking at? I know you've got several returning from last year. There's several returning, none of them that really, uh, only one or two that actually played a whole lot of, lot of time. Uh, Dave Ron Reed, he's a junior. He, uh, he has probably the most overall around ability. Uh, Kurt Nixon, uh, those two played the most. And then you have uh, Julian Roberts and Devin Jones. And those four right there saw the most time. Okay. And we have a lot of young kids that have come along since last year or so. Well, give us an overview of our what we'll be looking at for the starting lineup uh, Friday night and then, you know, the upcoming home games. What the, what the, lo the folks can look forward to. That, for you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, that may lineup. change between now and Friday. Yeah, starting lineup changes about every day. Uh, if I had to make it tonight, it would be uh, Dave Ron Reed, Kurt Nixon, Devin Jones, Julian Roberts and Corey Walker. All right. Uh, Corey Walker, uh, he uh, moved in last year, so he was ineligible for varsity play. But he's about a six foot four, uh, long arm junior, so he's been doing a lot better, getting a lot better in the, in the paint. And then uh, the other kids, of course, with some experience. So. so we can look for Walker to slam some dunks down. Uh, uh, oddly enough, no. Uh, the point guard is a better slam dunker than our center. <laughs> that tells you about the athleticism. Uh, but there are a few. Matter of fact, in the game last night, the, the second play, Dave Ron went that went down. That's Dave point. Ron. Yeah. So if uh, they're going to be entertaining, they're going to run a lot, hustle. As far as making shots, that's that's a whole other conversation. Yeah, definitely. Uh, last year, my two big scores were uh, five foot five Trey Hamilton and five foot six Donovan Bolden. And now this year, there's uh, my two big scores are both six three. So that helps a lot. I think so. it's been a few years since we've had, yeah. had some size, so yes. yeah, that would always be welcome. <laughs> that would definitely help on the boards. Yes. When you uh, face them six foot seven kids from Turner and Wilcox. Wilcox. <laughs> Even Lanier, or Lanier have any tall kids again? They do. They have a six foot four big boy that came in for one of the, the African kids they had last year. Mm -hmm. He's some, some experience. And that uh, that's the one thing that I'm looking forward to is you had all these teams – seem like they graduated some people, but in the preseason rankings, they have Wilcox, Turner, and Lanier, all three ranked in the top mm -hmm. ten, which is either a bad thing or if you can beat some of them. Uh, you know, maybe yeah, you gain some confidence and confidence. win some re win the, win par uh, place in the region or win it, hopefully. Yeah, so it's, it's exciting. Coach, are the power rankings going to play a big role in basketball like they do in football? And football is a big, big it, it's it's going to be chaotic. Uh, with football, you have one, you one know, game a week. week. Yeah, right. they're going to have to keep up with this Tuesday, Friday, Saturday, and then it's uh, classification doesn't mean anything. But if you lose, you get 33% of their wins. If you win, you get five points plus 100%. So now you're starting to divide 33% into oh, three games. Oh my lord! If you if you if you thought figuring football out was tough, basketball is a whole nother game right here. Take 10 MIT grads to. Figure that out. Well, and you, and you know from softball how our, our softball girls thought they were done and mm -hmm. they call a week later, it's, it's the same system that they were on. So that very well very well could happen the same. Well, oh, that's right. I, you, you I, know, I actually had to call them up. I was just sitting. Like I said, I, I was on the Internet and they, I was on Facebook and I had Georgia High School thing on Facebook and it said, you know, Class A softball has been released. So I just clicked to look at it and uh, – there we are, the first one you look at. And I thought, hmm, I wonder if Baxter knows. <laughs> and he did, do. So I may have to do the same for you, huh? You may have to. <laughs> but as far as other teams in the region, like you said, you've got Turner, Wilcox, on there. It's probably going to be the top three. Um, Those are the top three. Again, like I said, we play Telfair Friday nights. Um, I think they're one and four at this point. They had a game last night. I'm not sure how that all went. Irwin County, they've played only one game because of football. They're 1-0. Clinch hasn't even started yet. They just made their schedule late, uncertainty of football. Uh, 
And who's the other team? Eccles. Eccles. Eccles, we don't play in football, but Eccles, they started off slow. They're usually small, so we'll right. see how that goes. So hopefully we can, we can get off to a good start. And Of course, I know you're going to have Christmas holidays. That always screws up a good start sometimes. It does. Uh, the, a lot of it will ride on the very first half because we have, uh, after this three-game span, we do play Brantley Saturday, who ended up beating Ware County. Is that game at home? That one will be away. All right. And then our first home game will Short be next five. Tuesday against Wayne County at home. And Wayne County is always good in basketball, but after that it goes Turner, Vernier, Wilcox. So the three teams I just mentioned in the top ten, <laughs> we play back to back to back. So if you come out on top, you go into Christmas happy. Yeah. Start off uh, one and seven, you go into Christmas. You got four, four, three, three or four games to tune up for those three. Exactly. Yeah. And now are any of those games at home? Uh, the Lanier and Turner game are both All right. home, so they should be excited. We need to pack the gym then. Yes, we do. Uh, I keep hoping Wilcox continues to win some football games, and that way yeah. maybe they won't be too fresh come December 20th. <laughs> First time I've heard anybody in Charles pull up Wilcox. Yeah, only when we're out. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Uh, but I don't know. You got anything, any other great news to tell us about it? <laughs> um. Nothing else a whole lot. Just uh, if you can get out and you want to come support, uh, Saturday night, all the home uh, girls will start at 6 p.m., varsity at 7.30, and again, Tuesday night's our first home game, so a nice crowd would be would be great. All right, Brown County's not too far away for Saturday, right. so we'll go pack there, Jim. Try to entertain you. All right. Okay. All right, Charlton Sportsnet is going to webcast the Tuesday game against Wayne County Live. So if you can't make it for some reason, tune in and watch. But for right now, uh, we'll take a break, and we'll be right back in a few minutes. Welcome to the Folkestone Pharmacy, your original hometown pharmacy for over 45 years, is located at 3885 Main Street. At Folkestone Pharmacy... We accept most major insurance coverage, including AARP, WellCare, Medicaid, Amerigroup, and many more. We also have a $1 value aisle for everyday items such as health and beauty, cleaning, and even snacks. Stop by and check us out today. Now, let's go get them Indians. Anytime Fitness folks are located in the Harvey Shopping Center has everything you need to stay in shape or get that look you've always wanted. Upright at conventional tanning beds, a Zumba room, weight room, and state-of-the-art treadmills. They also have supplements and tanning supplies. Anytime Fitness Folkestone is also the proud sponsor of Charlton Sports Weekly with Glenn Hughes and Stan Wilds. See Stan to get fit anytime. Anytime Fitness Folkestone located in the Harvey... Radio Shack, located at 3885 Main Street, inside the Folkestone Pharmacy, is your local Verizon Wireless authorized agent and DISH Network retailer. Radio Shack carries a variety of computers, tablets, smartphones, and other electronics. The Shack in Folkestone is proud of our student athletes and wishes them the best of luck this season. Now, let's go get them Indians. Welcome to Charlton Sports Weekly. Uh, let's talk a little recreation news. Not a whole lot going on. Uh, you the guru on the rec, Glenn. Go ahead. Well, I, like I said, I'm on vacation this week, so I'm a little out of the loop. But I think that uh, I believe they had tryouts for basketball last night. Uh, probably trying to get teams picked this week, so hopefully we can, they can get them picked and then they can practice up through the holidays and we'll start bouncing the round ball and Beginning of January, um, but as far as a couple of Charlton alumni had some honors bestowed upon them this week. Yeah. Uh, the Courtney Williams, who is a freshman guard at uh, South, South Florida, South Florida, she's started I think most of the games this year for them. She was named the Big East Freshman of the Week for last week, so. I think she scored maybe 14 points in one game, 13 points in another. So she's and the doing Big real- East is a tough basketball conference. Right. She's doing real well down there, so we want to congratulate her for that. Um, also, uh, Adam Davis, 
that I saw today where he was named to the second team Big 12 Conference. So, Congratulations yeah. to Adam. So that's... In our opinions, he should have been first team. That's right. I think one, one of his teammates was one of the defensive ends on the first team, so I guess you can't complain too no. much. <laughs> but uh, congrats to Adam. And uh, what other alumni we got? Uh, or is that it for this week? Probably for this week, um, just to mention Adam and his teammates are going to the uh, Fiesta Bowl yep. to play uh, Oregon. Oregon. Also, Chris Milton and Georgia Tech qualified to go to the Sun Bowl. And uh, Ralph Bolden and Purdue, I forget the name of the Heart of Dallas Bowl or something yeah. like that. But So those those three Charlton County alumni will be participating in the bowl. So. Well, good for them. Good for them. All right, let's go over a couple picks we had last week. Really, I think both of us finished. Uh, finished. Uh, we picked ten games, but unfortunately, Army Navy game we picked a week early. But uh, that's the only big game this weekend, that's anyway. Right. So it might be the only game. We yeah. Won. Uh, all right, and um, out of the nine games, we uh, we both went six and three. So nobody gained no ground and nobody lost no ground. Um, really, the only big game uh, to talk about is one everybody uh, still talking yeah, about. Yeah, still talking <laughs> about um, the SEC championship game, Alabama and Georgia. Um, good game on both sides, uh, but unfortunately, the dogs came up a little, literally four yards short. Right. Um, you know, people can say they should have spiked the ball, they should have done this, should have done that, but um, what is, is, and sometimes and you, you, can't, got, sometimes yeah, you, you gotta, gotta roll the, the dice. You gotta give the other team credit yeah. for making a play. Um, so, uh, personally, you know, I'm not no big dogs fan, but I was hoping they had to win. <laughs> okay. I know you was. <laughs> I, it, it hurt me in the end, but to. Just for an overall college football fan, it it was just a tremendous game to watch. Oh, that'll definitely be on the ESPN Classic. In I mean, 20 years, it'll still be playing. I mean, it was a game of momentum swings back and forth. You know, Georgia took a, I forget, they blocked that field goal running mm -hmm. back. I was up 10 points, I believe. And Alabama comes roaring back. And then at the end, like I said, Georgia had the chance and just quite couldn't get it done. Yeah. What's a shame in college football, though, is is out of the top ten, you know, you got your five BCS games, and one of those being the national championship. Um, out of the top ten, six of the top ten teams are SEC, SEC teams, teams, and uh, and they only allow know, two from a conference. They only allow two for from a conference, um, and I'm for conference champions getting their accolades. But Wisconsin is 85 as a conference champion playing in a Rose Bowl game. So, uh, and then you've got the Northern Illinois thing, which they, yeah. you can't fault them. They, no, they yeah, win I, by the rules. I, I can't fault the coaches or the players. Um, it's the system that failed. Um, you know, it's hard to say a Northern Illinois played the same schedule that a South Carolina or Georgia or Texas A&M did. But then on the other hand, you got to be happy for those kids oh, because, yeah. especially being as we know, one of that's true. Uh, starting offensive tackle, I believe, yep. uh, on Northern Illinois. So um, that's that, that team will probably never get another shot at it again You're right. right now. Uh, no. And I actually kind of hope they beat Florida State. <laughs> truthfully, I doubt they do, but I'll be. I'll, I hope they do. No, uh, the only thing I worry about is the matchups in these games. That the, that the games won't be competitive, and, yeah. and then you'd be flipping channels trying to find something good to watch. So yeah, that game, and then um, the Sugar Bowl, Florida and Louisville. Louisville is uh, is nowhere near the same league oh, Florida right. is. That game will be. I'll be surprised if that's not a thirty point spread. But um, locally here, we still have in the court one division or. FCS uh, or Division One AA, 
Uh, we still have Georgia Southern. They host a game in Statesboro this week, or are they I on the road? I think they're on the road at Old Dominion. Old Dominion, all right. So they're going up to Norfolk. Um, and then Valdosta State is at home. They are in going to Minnesota to play Ooh. Minnesota State at Mankato or something. Oh, like they're that. going to North Minnesota. They and better pack some of that insulated Under Armour. Or and something. like I said, you know, some of them schools up there got them little mini domes. But yeah. I, I was watching the webcast about off the state, and it's talking about it. They said, not at this place. So they're going to be out in the elements. So might be hard adjusting, or you can hope for a well. One thing I've always said, if it, it, it doesn't matter if they're from the south, if it's cold, everybody's cold. But I know that they can they can adjust. To, they yeah, they're, they they're acclimated, acclimated, but cold is cold. Um, but well, hopefully both those teams can, can uh, bring home wins. I read this last week at the end of the week. If I'm not mistaken, Georgia Southern next year is moving up. To Division One and playing in the Sun Belt Conference, I, I, d- I did. They are moving up. I want it, and I'm almost positive it said starting next year they will be in the Sun Belt Conference. That'll so be interesting. Um, we'll have three top top tier mm-hmm. programs in the state of Georgia, uh, which I think Georgia's the last state in the Southeast to not have more than two. Two, right? So, but, but that'll be interesting. But uh, Valdosta State, um, even though he's getting redshirted this year, we have Donovan Bolden is over there. Mm-hmm. Uh, unfortunately, he probably won't get to make the trip up no. there. But everything I've heard Coach Mack tell me that the coaches have told him that uh, Donovan's doing real well over there, and you know, they're happy to have him. So well, good. Uh, I think uh, as far as college football, that'll wrap it up. High school football locally. The only team still playing is Ware County, uh, and they host uh, Northside Warner Robins this week, so they probably won't be playing I'll after this the week. Same thing, yeah. Uh, this is, so if you want to see one more good, one more, I don't know that it'll be good. <laughs> it'll be a high school game, but uh, Northside Warner Robins may be, may be the best team in the state. Right, they're um, talented. Uh, that game will be in Waycross at 7.30. Uh, I'm sure it'll be a packed crowd. Um, you may have to sit on the north side side, but um, maybe Ware can pull off a miracle. Who knows? Well, I know the last time I went, when that Ware hosted the state championship yeah. game, they they put in some portable bleachers in the one end zone that's not right. covered or whatever. And that's where I sat at for that <laughs> game. So yeah, it's possible you have to do that again. Well, and then on GPB Friday night, I think Colquitt is at Norcross, which Norcross oh, beat Camden. Um, in, in our classification, the public school bracket, uh, Wilcox will be playing ECI. Uh, and to me, in my opinion, that is the, the state, state championship state. game because I don't think Lincoln County or um, – I'm trying to think of the I other think school. Who is the other one? Um, or uh, Dooley County. Dooley, that's right. Lincoln or Dooley has anything for ECI or um, or uh, uh, Wilcox. You know, ECI has been kind of quiet all year, but I remember in a preseason scrimmage, they beat by 30 points. So um, I know a scrimmage is a scrimmage, but... You gotta have talent. To you do don't that. beat somebody by a team like Fitzgerald by 30 points without having some sort of team. So um, that game is in in uh, Rochelle. So that's a bit of a ways to drive for a football game. But if you're fiending, that's right. And Waycross is going. You don't want to go to Waycross. That's the next it's closest. closest bet. So, but uh, I think that'll wrap it up for us. For football, uh, unless you got anything else, that's Glenn. Pretty much it, I believe. The what? The Heisman. Uh, that's down to Johnny Football, Johnny Manziel yeah. of Texas A&M, Manti Teo of Notre Dame, and Colin Klein of K State. In my opinion, if if Manziel don't get it, it's a tragedy or a travesty, whatever, whatever the proper <laughs> word you, the use there is. It, Colin Klein had a good season. Manti Teo, 
Um, probably overall, in my opinion, the top defensive player or one of the top I've three. Uh, he may, he he's he's definitely a top three defensive player in the country. Um, I don't think he's he's done his stats for getting the Heisman for defense. I don't think so either. Um, you know, this Manziel kid has broken. You, if if you look back to the year Tebow won the national championship, I mean won the Heisman, Cam and Newton. Cam Newton, his stats blow both okay. of them out of the water. So if he don't get it, all because he's a freshman, it, then that whoever gets it can consider it watered down. You're right. But I agree with you that Manziel should be the he should the be the man. favorite. Yeah, I don't know if he'll ever. I I I, I told somebody this the other day. I, they said, "Well, you think he'll win it again if he's got three more years?" I said, "He probably won't, because defenses will, uh, adjust, can yeah. adjust and prepare for him. But and he probably won't have another year like this year. But you got to give it to the kid while he's had he's got the stats. He took a team that came from the Big Twelve." And, and let's be honest, at the beginning of the year, after Florida beat them, I figured Texas A&M would be 7-5 and five right. at best in the SEC. They, at the end of the year, in the regular season, I don't know if they weren't. They were definitely the hottest team playing. So um, uh, give the kid the, his hardware. Well, we'll find out Saturday. Yep. But for now, I said, we'll take a break and we'll be right back. Have you seen all United First has to offer? Online banking, free online bill pay, Christmas club accounts, low interest credit cards with no annual fee or balance transfer fee, mortgages and home equity loans and lines of credit, scorecard rewards, prestige accounts, youth accounts, and loans for new and used cars, boats, RVs, motorcycles, and mobile homes with land. All accounts are federally insured by NCUA. United First is an equal housing lender. Have you seen... 